Okay, generic greetings everyone. Um Richard Watson slash Vector Pasta here. Um with this second episode. I know that the sound got messed up on the last one. Uh one way or another. Like you could not even hear the in game sound at all. So I've tweaked the settings a little bit and hopefully I've taken care of that. I'll probably end up boosting the game audio. May as well do that now. Um well, I would explain why it was quiet, actually. Um, so I'll probably bring that up to, like, 50. If it gets too loud, then I'll just turn it back down again. Um, and, again, see how it is on YouTube. And then we can go from there. But, yes, I am officially in 1.3 now. This is, you know, really cool. I realized that uh, I'm posting the first video yesterday it sort of came out as a celebration of first day of 1.3.1 and now it's like now it's out and it's all cool so um as you can see I cleaned up well maybe you can see I can't I don't know how dark it's gonna look um I've got kind of a dutch angle here because I'm actively taking damage because as you can see I ran out of hunger again but, um, I went a little ways into clearing up the area, making it look a little nicer. Um, and I also had another zombie attack. I took long enough that it was nighttime, and another zombie broke down the door. Um, so I'm probably gonna die about now. Um, but I did notice something interesting. Um, if we get another zombie, then I'll show you guys, but... Apparently, it like the damage on the door is reset if you open it or close it. So I'll be able to, you know, get rid of the damage. I was wondering if it did that, because it was kind of a visual thing. But now I'm going to die, and then I'll probably, once I've died, then I'll probably show you around more of what I've done and what I intend to do. So... I am now dead. There we go. Awesome. Okay, now let's see if I can figure out where I went. I went off in this direction. Why is there a light over there? Is that like... Hi, Enderman. Don't mind me. I'm not gonna... I'm, I'm, I don't mean any harm or anything. Oh, this must be like one branch of the cave. Well, I don't need to... I don't need to explore or anything right now. Just need to get down into my little hole. Where is it? Ah, here we are, here we are. Recognize the creeper hole there. Um, can pick up all my stuff, which I probably should have dumped to the chest since I was gonna die. But, you know, whatever. Um, I'm probably gonna have a zombie knocking anytime now. But yes, one thing that I have to try out now. Ha um, ha ha! Ha ha, yes. Of course, of course, yep. As everyone on Reddit knows, this is far more entertaining than it should be. But, um. And uh, as a person who frequents Reddit, um, I am already on some of the nice little tricks. This is probably going to be the floor of at least one or two of my rooms because it looks awesome. For that I'm going to need a lot more birch wood so I'm going to do that right now obviously. And so that should be a lot of fun. Um, yeah I used up my pick just cleaning up the area and making it a little more presentable sort of. Jumped down these uh, you know doorways with dirt so that I wouldn't get overrun by zombies and other evil things all the time till I can get some proper doors installed probably ASAP I'm gonna go grab um, some redstone and stuff make some basic piston doors that should be good um, we'll see though I mean, that's... I might actually take out this entire central pillar, just open it up in here, make it a little nicer. Maybe lower the floor by a bit. 
And then probably go from there. Let's see, I can, yeah, I'll make another stone pick. Although while I'm thinking of it, I guess I'll also make an iron pick just to have it on hand. Cause if I do get down there, grab this iron. Don't know why I didn't before. Um, if I need to get down there and need to grab some redstone, then I'm gonna want to have the pick to be able to. Is that it? I think that's it. Can't tell if that's. I guess it's normal stone. Yep. I'm betting that's normal stone. So I'll just fill this thing in. And sunlight already. The daylight. I think it's yeah, it's daylight. Cool. Awesome. So it's safe at this point. However, I think I'm gonna go on a mining run. It might be this episode right there. Might do just do some mining. Get myself some building materials, and you know, then we can go from there. Clean this area up a little bit. Yeah. Cause everything must be perfect. Everything must be absolutely perfect, or I am not a happy camper. That is the kind of person which I am. I must have absolutely everything exactly the way it should be. Which will get interesting later on. Um, but hopefully I'll be able to figure out when to shut up and when to do stuff off camera so it doesn't get too boring for you guys. I like to think that I'm reasonably good at that kind of thing. I'll be able to pull it off. Uh, where do I want to start here? All these little, you know, imperfections are starting to just bug me. But that's pr most of this I can get done later. I say doing it. Gah. Okay. I'm not sure where I want to start my mind downwards. Um, I probably want to, like, head down from there because I'm already a little bit down over there. This is the kind of thing I usually do when I'm just cleaning up. I just get rid of all these extra loose ends. And then I'll probably smooth out the shape of the room so on later. Um, and get it more to my liking, uh, and make it fit its purpose better. Hi, Creeper! I'm rather glad that I blocked that entrance off, because there is indeed a Creeper. Right there. Right there. Hello, buddy. Hello there. Hello. Ha 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 ha, you can't kill me. You can't kill me, so I can swing my water bucket at you. Oh, it's raining, how lovely. How much does a punch do? I feel like it must do like half a heart. Seems about right. Alright, so you didn't drop any gunpowder, so I don't have to, like, go out there and collect it. I'll be bad. Um, because I could easily mess myself over that way. Because I would have to go out and get it, because I wouldn't be able to just sit there. Um, because again, I'm that kind of person. And there could easily be another creeper, because where there is one creeper, there is quite often another creeper. And that would end badly. However, it's a moot point, because he didn't actually drop anything, which is okay in this particular case. So... Now I get to play the mining game for a little while, and I already hit iron. I'm okay with this. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's a decent amount, too. I'm all right with this. Oh, and there's coal. All right. I am actually probably going to bother to mine all this coal just because it gives me XP now, as well as being useful for torches and fuel for furnaces and so on. So it's almost like having a redux blaze farm right in my basement. I get XP and furnace fuel without, like, you know. Right? Right? 
except that it's crappy fuel and it doesn't give me that much XP at all. And it's not unlimited. That would be overpowered. So, I just nearly mined straight downwards, which is something that even I should know not to ever do. That was. <sighs> that is something by now I'd think I would have learned. It looks like some of these are dropping no XP at all. So I'm wondering if it's like blocks have a chance of dropping zero to so much XP. If you feel like telling me in the comments, by all means, if anyone's actually watching this, like by all means tell me if you know. Because I don't. Um, and I'm just barely too lazy to actually look it up. So, um, Right now, that's what I'm betting now. It's just a matter of... It's got a chance to give you up to so much XP, but there's also the chance of it not giving you any. Which would make sense. Especially given that, yeah, it's like none of those gave me any XP. There's some XP. Awesome. Okay. This is cool, too, because it means that, you know, monster hunting is no longer necessary to gain XP. Like, you can now get potentially, essentially unlimited XP just by going mining, which I'd need to do anyway just to support um, whatever projects I'd feel like doing. Also, um, one thing that came to mind a little while ago... Um, I know people like Etho and some of my friends who do, um, like, Let's Plays slash, you know, those kinds of series, um, and so on. Like, often people tend to say, like, we're doing this, we're doing that. Oh, I did not mean to hit the torch there. Oh, yeah, often people will say, like, we're doing this, we're doing that. We're gonna need to get more torches. We're gonna build a blaze spawner, we're gonna, or not, yeah, whatever, and, you know, whatever, we're doing this, we're doing that, instead of, like, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, like, I'm probably just gonna say, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, just cause I'm, you know, I'm, I'm the one doing this digging and so on, it's like, you guys aren't actually involved in, like, any way, you're watching me, which is cool, but, like, I'm doing what I'm doing, and it's kind of separate from the whole watching it on YouTube experience, so I kind of actually feel weird just, you know, saying, and then we're gonna go, you know, do this, or, like, I don't know, what's a good example of, you know, using the we, I don't know, but... So yeah, I'm probably just going to be narrating what I'm doing as what I'm doing, as opposed to like what the collective audience and I are doing, as though you guys were part of this and like engage in it. I, I can see why people do it. It's kind of a cool idea and everything, but at the same time, you know, this is my project and I'm doing this for me, more or less. So I, I'm going to go ahead and be a little more selfish about it, I guess. That's the way you want to look at it. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, I need to remember to speak up because my voice is rather quiet in the videos and there's not much I can do about that. I am trying a different, um, like, like you know, I, I, I showed you guys I put the um, volume up and... I did mess with the volume settings um, in my recording software as well, so on like that. But I'm also recording as uh, an MP4, I think, instead of an MOV, which I was. So um, we'll see if I am able to 
but we'll see, we'll see if that makes any difference because I was I was wondering if that was what was doing it for some reason because YouTube doesn't like MOVs for some reason I don't know I don't remember ever having problems with them in the past but it's worth a shot so basically gonna be trial and error for a little while until something works and I figure out a way to get it working without any problems so just bear with me while I you know mess around with the different settings and so on and if there's something painfully obvious that somebody sees and happens to comment on um, before I find a better solution then um, you know that's awesome but at the same time it's like no one's even gonna be watching these videos so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hold my breath it's let's see how deep am I I'm getting there I don't know probably like third of the way halfway to bedrock by this time I don't know I'm trying to gauge like yeah I'm probably like halfway down I want to say we'll see see how accurate that is Actually, you know I'll pick out a block here just to keep track see how close my estimate was um, and so yeah well, yeah, I usually mine. I usually like head down to bedrock, and then I guess I'll head up a few layers. Like you know, try and hit what is it like levels twelve, thirteen, fourteen, maybe like fifteen, sixteen. I can't remember that are supposed to be ideal for you know redstone, diamond, everything else. I think diamond layer is like one particular layer that people say to dig at I can never remember what it actually is but I just go up a little ways and I figure I hit you know four layers by just digging a basic tunnel I should hit it there I'm actually probably gonna end up building a like digging a larger tunnel like three by three three by four or something like that just for the heck of it and so that it looks grand because that's important Eventually, I might even, like, set up some kind of living space down there, do some cool stuff with the area I hollow out, because, you know, kind of thing I like to do. I don't like wasted space, really. I prefer to have... Darn it. I meant to hollow out as... Oh. So either it's nighttime or I'm approaching bedrock. Fog is a different color. <sighs> I meant to pick out a block in the wall to put a crafting bench or something. Because I don't really feel like going all the way back up, especially because I am running out of hunger and I'm probably going to die. That's right, I meant to set up a farm. You know, I'll go do that now. Let's just do that before... Yeah, see, I did it without even meaning to. Let's do this. Let's do that, huh? No. I'm gonna go set up a farm because I feel like it and I'm hungry you guys don't get to eat anything because you didn't help me it's like little red hen syndrome you guys don't help me out when I'm building my farm when I'm actually you know getting my food you're not gonna get to eat any of the bread they were making bread they weren't making a farm I don't know but in Minecraft, it's not exactly difficult to make bread. You just put it into the crafting bench, and there it is. What am I making? I'm making I'm making a pick. That's what I'm doing. Stop it, zombie! Damn it. Two, two, two. Oh! Yeah, that's glitchy. That's quite glitchy and unfortunate. Hello there, pathfinding AI. Nice, nicely. There was another one up there, wasn't there? I'm certain there was. Stop it. Go away. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny to watch these guys walk around at this point. I don't know if. 
I wonder if that's partly lag or something, but like the way they're this guy is like turning around and stuff all the time, trying to find his way towards me in the most efficient route possible or something. Oh good, I'm starving to death. Um Oh shit. No, no one invited you. No one invited you. Uh what am I gonna do about this? This situation is rapidly going downhill. Oh damn it. I've got a creeper. You know what? Um Creeper, you blow up over there. And then I'll just go over here. I don't know where the zombie oh, the zombie's over there. Darn it. Um Thank you, Creeper. I actually kinda wanted to haul that area out. Um, I'm just gonna see if I can get as much into this chest as possible before I die sort of prioritizing the more important things not really um there we go i think that worked out rather nicely and now where am i going i always lose track of this place whenever i die there's the woods i just need to head towards the woods i just need to remember to head towards the forest whenever i die um, I can get in through somewhere in there, but instant- Ah! No. No, wrong, false. I don't- No! Oh, no, I don't- No! No, there are bad things everywhere, and- No, that's a creeper! Oh, no, 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 no that's not what I want to have happen. <sighs> so now I've got another creeper hole in front of my house. Didn't make the jump. I wasn't sure if I was going to. Interesting, I just noticed a um, creeper and a skelly fight fighting it out. Damn it! This entire area would appear to be just solidly- No! 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 No, I don't want- Kill the spiders! Kill the spider- Thank you! No, you didn't kill both the spiders. I wanted you to kill both the spiders. No. There we go. There we go. That's what needed to happen. Now I just need to block off the area. Or something. Go away, zombie. Nobody likes you. Let me get some blocks. Zombie's just chilling. To heck with this. There. Now everything should be all set. Grab myself this and that and make myself sword, attack the zombie, grab the XP, ha, huh, all right, better situation now, better situation. I think I'm actually going to stick away from doors for now just because that's unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. As intense as it makes the game, it just makes it too intense and I really just kind of want to not have to deal with that kind of garbage. Especially creepers inside the house. That's just not fun. It's just never fun. Uh, this is zombie like right above me someplace. Uh, I'm just glad he didn't bust a hole in the ceiling. I'm gonna re be replacing like all the blocks around here anyway. I don't know why I care that much. Like I'm gonna be replacing the walls with some other color or something. Like I don't know if it's gonna be like wood or whatever. Probably gonna be probably gonna put in some nice flooring in this area at least. Should look nice and. Put my ceiling on, maybe build a tower up from some place and use up my excess cobble that way, you know. The usual. The usual. Actually think I'm gonna try and sneak out and grab this stuff. Eh! Eh! There are Nice to know that the game isn't buggy anymore. With like, you know, stuff clipping through floors and stuff. At least it's almost daylight. Why are those chunks unloaded? That's weird. Well, it's becoming easier and easier to find my front door. It's just the giant hole in the ground with some cobble inside it. Uh, 
Where are you, spider? Ready for you this time. Die, archer. Die. Die, 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 die. Nobody likes how you captained the first Enterprise. That was a terrible series in comparison to the others. You see what I did there, everyone. Because I am a nerd and I can make nerd references. Now! <laughs> For the 14th time, I think I'm actually going to build my farm now, if I actually have... Yeah, I've got a pickaxe in here. Um, and that way I hopefully won't starve to death again. Because once again, that is lame. It continues to be lame. Uh, that's four wide. Eh, make it five wide and then... Dump a water spring in the wall and just fill out the farm like that. Like, do that. Oh, come on. Water bucket's back in the chest. There we are. Water bucket there. Probably should have grabbed myself an infinite water spring first, because this is just a slight inconvenience now, but... Um, whatever. And then... Do I have torches back in the chest? I feel like I must have torches back in the chest. I have one torch back in the chest. How oh, nice. All right, there's that anyway. Um, I can put another torch there. One. Yeah, I'll just grab. I'm running low on wood again. May as well just use up this wood. And I didn't actually need to because I already had sticks. Lovely. Grab some torches and put one right there. Now I need a hoe. And I am going to make... Okay, I didn't need to use those anyway. Um, I am going to make a stone hoe. However, no one ever has an excuse to make a hoe that is better than a stone. Like, the only advantage is that it'll last longer, which is exactly why no one should ever, ever make a diamond. Well, you can make a diamond hoe. That's your prerogative, but I, as far as I'm concerned, it's wasted diamonds. No one should ever, ever make a golden hoe, because golden hoes have no redeeming value whatsoever. Like, they're just a waste of gold. And they will last exactly, I don't know, I don't know how long they last. They might last a little longer than stone, but that's as maybe and they will do exactly the same job exactly as fast it's always instantaneous so and you know stone is renewable like a stone hoe is entirely renewable um as opposed to a gold hoe which is not yeah that the whole clipping issues yeah nice guys I'm, I'm glad that all those are taken care of um everything's you know resolved in this patch so there's a nice little farm that's you know rather pretty Let's see actually it looks like garbage but whatever um I can possibly I'm trying to think what I can do to the area to make like right now to make it look a little better but nothing comes to mind I'll just leave it like that until I can revamp the entire area I guess though I'm gonna knock out the ceiling by one block I think um, so yeah, gold hoes have absolutely no excuse to ever exist. Um, I can even understand, like, making good quality shovels, because they do actually do stuff faster as well as lasting longer. But, hoes? No. No. Also, I'm reasonably proud of myself for going through this entire explanation and discussion without ever once making a you a stupid hoe or other sort of hoe related joke.
takes certain amount of self-restraint in class. So I guess I'm just going to go back to mining and then, you know, if anything interesting happens, I'll, you know, pause and get back to you guys or otherwise I'll probably just check back once I've got a decent stash and so on. So see you guys next episode.